thousands of people filled the streets of Chicago to protest the president's zero tolerance policy. I can't imagine uh, leaving someplace that's so horrific, arriving somewhere where you think you're going to get some peace and somebody takes your child. Marcy Aikler came to Daily Square in Chicago because she says there's a message that needs to get out. The more people that you can get involved, the better. I mean, the more people that call their senators, congressmen, the Department of Justice, Jeff Sessions, Trey Gowdy. I can tell you everyone I called this week. But there was one official she didn't need to call, at least to make an appearance Saturday, Senator Dick Durbin. This is a terrible policy. It's hurting us. He said he had a conversation with ICE officials just this week. How many children are we holding who said we don't have enough room to go? Well, how many kids under the age of five who have to be returned in a matter of 12 days? We don't know. How many parents do you know who had to give up their kids? Ten. Ten. That's all they knew. The first thing any other president would do would be to lock heads off at the top of the ICE. This agency is spending more time focusing on toddlers than terrorists. After the president signed an executive order ending the separation of families, his administration said they're doing everything they can to reunite the ones still torn apart. However, Congress hasn't been able to make any new immigration legislation. In the meantime, families are coming together in support of the immigrant families that can't be. We know we can't go and make it go away, but we'll just show our support.